Well, the fact that you clicked on this video means you are interested in a budget smartphone. And these days lines are blurring between the mid-range smartphones and budget smartphones because a lot of these mid-range features are coming down to lower budget smartphones. And we are reviewing today one of the budget smartphones from Motorola, the Moto G13. Welcome back to Gizmonk and if you are new here, you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so because that helps. Alright, let's roll into the review. Design-wise, Motorola G13's design is similar to most of the phones right now. To buyers who are looking to get that top-end Motorola design feel on their budget phone, this would look attractive. But it may become uh, you know, confusing for buyers considering premium models from Motorola as the design philosophy is eerily similar. The matte finish on the back looks premium and attracts a fewer fingerprints. A glossy uh, camera island adds a contrast to the back. The rear panel is made of acrylic plastic, but very deceiving, I mean in a good way. It is the same material that we saw in the more premium Moto G73 5G. The design is very boxy and it uh, is slightly less ergonomic compared to other phones. It comes with a transparent case and better to use it to avoid uh, slipping from hand. Uh, moving on to the sides, the Moto G13 has a power button on the right side while featuring a SIM card tray on the left side. And it's a hybrid SIM slot as usual. It also has the Dolby Atmos branding on the top. We'll talk about the speakers and Dolby a little late. On the bottom, there's a microphone, uh, a USB Type-C port and a speaker grill. In terms of display, this is a HD plus 720 pixel LCD panel, which is a disappointment. Uh, now that I've said that and it's right out of the way, uh, let me tell you that it is an acceptable display with 90 hertz uh, refresh rate, which is good. Colors and brightness are not bad and you can view or stream movies from Amazon Prime and Netflix in HD quality. But people who have used uh, Full HD phones will notice that compromise after some extended viewing. Considered with other phones in this segment it comes with a punch hole camera design which is not bad so i would say if the screen quality is important to you please extend your budget and buy a phone with a much better display the best thing on this phone is the speakers the dolby atmos speakers are very good and pretty loud and i was really surprised while watching youtube and movies with the sound that was coming out so moto did a good thing picking better speakers for this budget phone Apart from the speakers, one more good thing is that the fast fingerprint scanner that comes within the side of the power button. The button is well designed and it is quick to scan and unlock. It also has facial unlock feature. In terms of the camera, Motorola has put a 50 megapixel main camera and macro and depth sensors, which is a main useful lens and two supporting sensors, which is the kind of the usual setup you see in budget smartphones. The Moto G13's primary sensor, which is the 50 megapixel, takes uh, OK pictures for a phone priced at this range. Selfies clicked in the low light had noise and less details in it. In the 50 megapixel mode, the images are a lot more detailed. Now, videos from both the rear and the front cameras are capped at uh, 1080p. The overall video quality is decent, so camera is better uh, compared to phones in this price range. But don't expect anything that surprises you in the camera department. In terms of the software and user interface, Motorola positions this as a phone for people who wants the stock Android experience which is not true. It is lightly skinned Android 13 but definitely with some bloatware and unnecessary apps like plans and uh, some games preloaded. But yeah, you can uninstall them and so it's not much of an issue. With MediaTek's processor, performance is satisfactory with the user interface pretty tuned and smooth while scrolling. I haven't noticed any bugs uh, until now. For a phone of this price range, overall user interface experience and the software is good. Now, in terms of the battery, the Moto G13 packs a 5000 mAh battery under the hood, which is about what every other smartphone right now is offers these days. Given the low resolution display 720p, there's no surprise you get a day and a half battery life. Charging is an area where Moto G13 needs to improve. It supports 10 watt charging 
that almost took 3 hours to charge from 0 to 100%. Summarizing, the Moto G13 is a solid offering at the price range. What you get with it is a satisfactory main camera, good performance for the price. Also features like stock Android 13 user interface, IP52 water resistance and Dolby Atmos speakers are icing on the cake. Although its processor is a bit underpowered, it has been optimized for smooth experience on a budget. But of course, this is not for hardcore gamers out there, but good enough for casual gaming. The lack of a full HD plus display is a bummer. Having said that, if you are looking for a smartphone with a clean user interface, smoother display, and good overall performance, and most importantly, if you are on a tight budget of less than 10,000 rupees, only then I would say consider the Moto G13. So that's it from us today, everyone. Do subscribe to the channel, like our Instagram page Gizmonk underscore official and Facebook page for latest posts and updates. Do stay tuned for an exciting Acer budget gaming laptop review coming next week. Till then, this is Junaid signing off for Gizmonk.